can't use those stats. The assault stats. The assault stats are wrong. We got it from your office. We got it from HUD. And they're wrong? Even if they were right, don't use them. Well, hey, let's make them right. B, why can't I use them? The 76-year-old grandmother. Every time we use those assault stacks, Carr and Gilmore come back. Who's the 76-year-old grandmother? Every day, 17,000 Americans defend themselves with a gun. That is flatly untrue. Including a 76-year-old grandmother in Chicago who defends herself against an intruder in the middle of the night. Just don't use the stats. The 76-year-old grandmother doesn't defend herself with a modified AK-47 assault rifle, Larry, unless she's defending herself against Turkish rebels. Look, excuse me. Oh, you guys know my assistant, Kathy. Well, you, we talk a lot on the phone. Yeah, hi. I need you for just a second. Okay. Uh, all right, call me at the end of the day. Leo's wife called. I'm done. Really? Wait and hope that a statement comes out of the UN by the end of the week. Oh, well, it's the least they can do. No, actually, the UN's already doing the least they can do. Right. Hey, Sam, what's up? Just stretching my legs. Who was that? Roberto Mendoza. Mr. Justice Mendoza! India's population stands at roughly 1 billion. 82% are Hindus, 11% are Muslims. They're mostly poor, but not nearly as bad off as Pakistanis. Yes, whose average per capita income is $400. They are, however, better educated. Their literacy rate is 48%. And they're healthier. Average lifespan is 57.7 years. Yeah, the average rainfall. What the hell kind of briefing is this? Toby, if we could just have another hour to prepare. Where'd you get this stuff? I swear to God, the Encyclopedia Britannica. I need a briefing. CJ, we're getting someone from state. Should get over it. We didn't say it enough. We agree. Ethanol accounts for 20% of Iowa's corn crop. Which doesn't mean a lot outside of Iowa. But still. The tax credit created 16,000. 16,000 new jobs. That's what we never said enough. We agree. Is it over? Sam's been calling senators from the plane for the last hour and a half. The next time my phone rings, it's going to be him telling me it's over. At least we're going to win. Yeah. CJ? Yes. Jed Bartlett cares about people like me. Leo, we went over this. We need to talk about the asymmetry of question six. We really don't. Since when are you an expert on language? In polling models? Okay. 1993. Since when are you an uptight pain in the ass? Since long before that. Jed Bartlett cares about people like me. Agree or disagree? Mm. Again, we went over this. Can't people like me when read off a script be taken to mean people like the interviewer? When we ask that question, we usually say people like yourself. Or people like you. We've seen it both ways. Fellas? You, yourself is a little softer. Well, and softer is bad? No, softer is better. But the point is... The respondent isn't confused by the question, and separating the respondent from the interviewer with people like yourself is pejorative. So, Ed, Larry, you can take this up with Josh. Leo, Eastern Standard Time is sitting down to dinner. The poll is fine. It's an important poll, CJ. I'm aware of its importance. I'm also aware that if we don't start the phone banks right now, I might not have enough time to leak the internals to media outlets before we hit the weekend. It's still the so it turns out that over the last three weeks, we've managed to climb out of the hole, only we can't tell anybody about it till Monday because we stood here all night arguing about asymmetry. It's time. Anybody want to make a prediction? We'll hold it. 42% job approval. We'll hold steady. I'll be happy if we hold steady. We'll drop a few points, but it'll be inside the plus or minus. CJ? We're going to go up five points. The president thinks we're going to hold steady. The president is wrong. You think? Yes. Let's find out. Toby, tell Sam to start the banks. <laughs>